hi guys welcome back to my channel Ugh. anyway five dollars well spent i guess um what's going on youtube welcome back to uh our channel um today i'm going to be doing my clown makeup because tomorrow is halloween or today if you're watching the video today um and i talked to you guys about last time that i was going to use i was going to use dollar brand makeup um easy way to do uh, makeup on a budget. Um, it's it's kind of nice. Um, I've always just kind of used this for myself personally. Um, whenever I do my makeup, um, when I was working in haunted houses, they used, of course, professional makeup, Mayron, stuff like that. So um, I'm just trying to show you guys what you guys can do on the fly uh, as quick as possible. And um, that way you can do something uh, with a little bit of nothing. I mean, you can always use your own makeup that's professional or much, much better. Um, you don't have to use the same colors I'm using, of course. White for clowns, um, typically. Um, and then a black, and then I use red for my clown. And then they also have, you can do purples and blues and greens and whatever have you. So, I also have, finally, I ordered these contacts about two and a half weeks ago. They were supposed to be here, um... Supposed to be here on uh, four to four to seven days. Well, it took them two weeks to show up, but I got my contacts finally. Um, I already complained to the company who will not be named because, well, actually, I will name them because then you won't, then you'll know not to ever order from them. Never order from myscaryeyes.com. Um, their customer service is terrible. Uh, they never responded to anything that I said. So what I'm going to do first to start this off is I've got really, really bushy, bushy eyebrows. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do it 100%, but I'll just tell you what I'm doing. But what you do is you take a glue stick and you glue down your eyebrows. Now, if you don't have really bushy eyebrows like I do, or you don't care about your eyebrows showing through, then skip this step. But you take, uh, take some glue stick. You're supposed to use white, but the store only had purple, disappearing purple. So this is going to be fun. But you want to stick your eyebrows down. Um, then you want to take one of these little eyebrow brushes or whatever these are. And you want to put pull them up and make them as flat as possible. And then once you're done with that, you uh, if you have your own, otherwise you just steal your wife's foundation. And you put it on, try to make your eyebrows disappear completely. Um, that way, when you do draw on, you won't see the eyebrows through your white makeup. Because my eyebrows are very, very thick and bushy and dark so I will do that and I will be uh, right back okay so I got my eyebrows uh, I got my eyebrows glued down as you can see they look kind of creepy I'm gonna let them dry but while I'm letting them dry I'm gonna get my contacts on now a couple things one if you've never used contacts before be careful because um, contacts for like these colored contacts are not technically supposed to go in your eyes um, they have been deemed safe um, they are FDA approved on some uh, places, but main thing is, is that you have to be careful. I've got to let you know that there, that you can get infections in your eyes. Um, and if you should never put a contact in your eyes, if they are ripped, cracked, broken, dried out, if they are dried out, do not try to, uh, to rejuvenate them and make them, uh, and, and make them soft again because that's it's still bad and you should only keep them for about a year or whatever it says on your for your uh for your expiration date on them and you should only leave them in for 48 hours don't leave them any longer than that and do not sleep in them um because it's not good for you uh you also want to do have a really good cleaner um you have multi-purpose solutions and stuff that it comes with um but if you also are going to order contacts for Halloween, you need to order them about a month or so in advance because, like this, they might not come and show up. So there's my first one. And uh, as you can see, the reason why I put them in before I do my makeup, um, you know, so most people put them in afterwards, but I tear up a lot when I put my contacts in. So I don't want to ruin the makeup, even though with the clown makeup, that, that teariness actually does add to it. But you want to do it... Um, if you don't want to ruin your makeup, I suggest putting them in first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put them in on the second one. So if you do not like people touching eyes or um, are a little bit squeamish about it, um, just click away from this. Um, and, and that way you don't have to watch me put it in. So once you have 
cleaned your contact off with the solution. You got all the particles that might possibly be on your hands, which you always should wash your hands. You want to put it on your finger like this. My left eye is always my worst eye too, so it's going to be fun to show you guys. But what you do is you want to grab your eyelashes, pull them up, pull down, look up to the corner, suction cup it to your eye, look into it. It's, it's that simple. It, as you can see, like I said, I tear up a lot when I put them in. If you feel an extreme burning or a like poking sensation, pull it out of your eye because that means that something's either in it or it's not set right or, or your eyes might not be suited for contacts. Um, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, this one's actually got a little bit of an issue as you can see. So I'm actually going to pull it out too. So you just literally pinch it and pull it and that's simple as that. But this one's a little bit dry. You are going to get really red eyes. And then you gotta tap it, get the air bubble out of there. Cause it will be an air bubble when it's suction cups. Perfect. No one's good. No, it's not. Okay. And my eyebrows are pretty dry now. So I'm going to take this foundation. I don't even know if it's any good or whatever. What is this? Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal. I don't know. Something cheap probably. Or maybe it's expensive. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to use it and uh, she's going to not care. For those of you that are were squeamish and turned away for a little bit, I am now back to doing my stuff. So put a little bit there. And we just dab this on. If you don't have a foundation, which I'm pretty sure most people do, but if you don't have a foundation, you can use a concealer. Um, it's just, it, it doesn't have to be as ridiculous either. It can, it can be just like this. This is probably fine, but mine are really dark, so I want to really get into it. It also doesn't matter if it's your skin tone, because you're going to be putting white over it for this makeup. But if you are looking at doing something that's a little bit more for um, like completely losing eyebrows, um, there's plenty of tutorials on, on YouTube to look for that, for like... um. For drag or for um, anything else that you can't, you don't need eyebrows for. Um, there's a lot of videos that will show you how to do it perfectly. Um, I watched one um, yesterday, actually. This is how I kind of got this idea, but um, I'm not doing all those steps because I don't really need to. Like I said, this is supposed to be on a budget. So, also another thing you want to have for your contacts is a contact case. Um, the cases do have left and right. Make sure that when you pull them out, you keep them with the same. Uh, keep them, keep the same eye contact always to the same. You don't want to infect your eyes or anything like that. Even though they're your eyes, they can still get infected, infections. So, okay. So now with a different sponge, um, I use my wife's, sorry. And we are going to start off with the white. Um, another thing you might want to get to is one of these little cheap things that are a dollar or so. Um, that's for what you can put the makeup in so you don't have to pull it out of the tube. But for doing the white, for the white we're just going to do it just like foundation. This is just, this is just Spirit Halloween or uh, Ruby's Walmart stuff. Um, and also for those of you that are just looking for a makeup tutorial, um, to be quick and simple, um, I've noticed that a lot of people that do makeup tutorials for Halloween or for stuff like that, they go so fast that they don't really explain 100% things. So that's why I'm talking a little bit that and this is not a Halloween channel. It is my wife's makeup channel. So I want to have a little bit more of a conversation. She wants me to be funny. I'll try to be funny. But uh, it's serious as well. I can't take myself seriously with my eyebrows like this. I look like a completely different person. Okay, so take your uh, your white, your white, as Bob Ross would say. Bobby Ross. Get a good amount. You don't need a whole, whole lot, but get a decent amount. And you just go on. I mean, that, that, that is a lot, but it will blend around. And we're doing an evil clown, so... Um, it all depends on what you're looking for. If you want to, uh, if you want to have it be more grungy looking or be more straight, straight white, like this, as you can see, as you can still see my skin through it, and I kind of like it that way a little bit. I have done it where it's just, I mean, it's like that white. Um, you can do that too. But I'm gonna skip through all this unless if I find something interesting to talk about.
And as you can see, there's a lot of blotchiness too, which I do personally like on a scary clown. But as you can see on some spots, it's just not getting there good enough. You do have to let it dry sometimes. And as you can see, my eyebrows are still pretty brownish, so colored. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I will continue. Also, um, you can do the ears. Um, it all depends on what you like. I personally don't do my ears. Um, I might today, but if I do that, I will do it at the end. Um, you want to get just underneath the chin a little bit, jawline, forehead, and let it, you know, go as much as you can up there. You want to get in all the crevices of your nose, get your eyes as well too. Um, as you can see, like some of it I didn't do because I will be doing that in black, so... Okay, now that you're looking as white as my wife, I thought that that foundation that I put on in my last video I did was pretty white. That's what I look like. And I do like the grunginess of it. It makes me look a little bit older, though, unfortunately. But it will all come together. Um, now, you can use a setting powder. Um, I do not have a setting powder, but they do sell it as well at Walmart. You can get it for like a buck. Um, but what I use, um, other than letting it just dry, um, instead of using a setting spray even, um, all a setting spray really is is just hairspray. Hairspray your face. That'll keep your your makeup on the rest of the night. Just don't go crazy with it. Like, I get that Aussie uh, hairspray. <sharp inhale> Done. It hardens up, so it will feel a little bit uh, hard on your face for a little bit, but then you, your sweat won't sweat off, of it, or it won't sweat as much um, while you're while you're working. But it doesn't seem like there's going to be much uh, problems with sweating off my makeup this Halloween because we're going to have a white Halloween because we're supposed to be getting anywhere from, I think I said, three to eight inches of snow in the Midwest. So... That's going to be fun. Not. Anyways, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the red. Get a little bit of that red. Just squeeze it on in there. Now, this is also a cream makeup. It's not alcohol or water-based. It's just cream makeup. Looks like paint. Um, you want to get either a... You can use a flat brush, um, which is not a flat brush. This is actually an eyeliner eyebrow brush apparently so I didn't know that in my last video but I do have a, another flat brush here that you can use and what you're doing with the red or any color you choose get a little bit on your brush right now we're just trying to make subtle lines to know where we're going so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be like the under color because we're gonna black's gonna come up so it's just gonna be a line and a line and then you're gonna kind of bring it out a little bit and then everything else, they're gonna, the blacks and come in there, and you'll see that in a second. So, and you don't have to have them be even too, which is also the good part about it. So, so you're gonna have that. This looks like a little little scar. Now you can bring this down a little bit, which I'm gonna do, but my eyebrows are still a little tacky because apparently this idea was not a good idea, but it still works. Um, once we color it all in, you won't even really see them as much, but the second one I'm going to make a little bit taller. Make a little bit taller, but shorter here, and you'll see why in a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to draw a little, little bit of triangles. So... I'm trying to do this on camera, but I'm trying to use the, the, the mirror as well, so I'll show you after I'm done with this. So you want to do something like that, and then you're going to fill in the red. And the best part about clown makeup, too, is the more grungy and more mess-ups you do make, the better it looks. It's kind of like uh, girls with their eyeliner back in high school. Um, you mess up, just make it thicker, make it thicker, make it thicker until you actually get it right. And all I'm doing now is just filling in. And you don't want to go too, too far out. You don't want to go too, too far down. Yeah, you are going to be putting black in there, but you want to make sure you put enough space to where it doesn't look like it's just super big black eyes. You want to have smaller black eyes. Also, once you get into this part of it, it doesn't have you can feather it out a little bit. Cuz if you feather it, it will blend nicely and it'll look more creepy. So, you got that. Now, 
you can either take the same brush you have, which is what I'm going to do, or you can take a different brush, but you want to kind of feather it out to make it not look as straight of lines. You kind of want to, want to, uh, let me do it here. And, uh, grunge it up a little bit like that. But once again, this is your clown. You can make it look however you want. If you want to have straight lines, you can have straight lines. If you want to have smaller triangles, you can have smaller triangles. This is just the way that I do it for my clown. Um, I used to do it, and I'm trying it differently this time, is I actually used to connect the red. I would bring it down this way, and I'd go across. So that this whole part was there, but the, the red would go up higher. But I'm trying something different today, because uh, I just kind of wanted to see what it looks like doing different. Okay. So I got the red now. It is very bright red, but when you put the black in, it will change a little bit. You can blend it in if you need to. But like I said, this is just grease makeup, and it is a dollar brand makeup. So, I mean, you get what you do pay for, but it will work. Next, what we're going to do is the nose. For the nose, I will draw, you just basically start from the tip, the top. You don't want to go too far back. But instead of drawing straight lines, I stipple it. And then right where your nostril is, you want to bring it back. And get all that, and then you'll color all that in. But I have to use the mirror for this little teeny bit so I don't go too far down. And then you will get up in your nostrils too, and around on the other side. And if you mess up like this, like I did, throw blood on there. And I like how it looks this way because it looks more grungy and more not straight lined. Now, what I usually do is I usually do black lips, black smile. I think I'm going to do red lips with the black around them and the black smile. Let's see how that looks. So if you have red lipstick, use red lipstick because this will dry out your lips. As you can already see, it's kind of starting to get into my, my lips and they're starting to chap. So use red lipstick if you have it or anything like lippy or whatever you guys call it. Um, I'm just going to use this stuff. It does work. It, it does, after a while, start to kind of come off, but it, may, it, it does add to the, uh, the, the effect. Do I look pretty now? Looks just as good as when I put the, the lipstick on in the other video. Now for clowns, for men, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Women, you of course want to always have those little, the, like the parts of your lips, you want to bring those up. For, for mine, I'm not going to do that with the red, I'm going to do it with the black, but you do want to slightly accent that you slightly want to accent that because it makes it look more grungy okay now it's time for black so i will i, would, I do also do a, a red chin but i'm gonna do that after i do the black um i do a little like like a goatee soul patch or whatever they call it so i'm gonna get a different brush i'm just gonna use this not flat brush because it's not a flat brush no, it's flat. And then also, if you've never done clowns before, start thinking of uh, ways they talk. Um, you know, you don't want to just talk normal like this because I'm a happy, sappy, go lucky clown. You want to have a, some sort of a grunge to your voice, which I will do in a little bit. But you want to have a grunge to your voice. You want to have uh, wit. Uh, you want to be just on the spot. Um, you don't want to just talk normal. But you also don't want to talk like the Joker. So if you start talking like the Joker, then it's just like you're copying. Even though I kind of look like a red version of the Joker from the new movie. I have not seen it yet, so don't spoil it for me. Um, cannot wait to see it. I heard it was really, really good. But when you have six children, you don't really get the chance to uh, go out to the movies as often. So, black. With the black, we are going to do... We'll do the lips first. Just because it's easier. So with this... You're gonna, I'm gonna, you you can draw a small small smile. I mean, if you want a small smile, it'll look like this. You 
You can do a small smile, but I do a big smile. So. And of course it looks rough right now because we got to fill it in. But right now I'm just kind of going around the lips and doing everything I need to first. And you don't want it to look, as you can see, you don't want it to look um, very straight. You want it to look very, very grungy. My smiles have never been really that great when I draw them, so always experiment because you might be able to get a better smile than I do. Because my smiles, I the way I do my smile is thick, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you later. But I do my smiles really thick because I got a big ass mouth. Because I'm, I'm not really liking the whole red 100%, but I do like it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take off all the paint. And I'm just going to kind of blend that red and the black together. So I got a big smile. Like I said, thinner smile, you might like that. I do like the big smiles that are not even. There's a reason for that too. It's because it makes it look better. Makes it look grungier. So, that's my smile. God, it looks like I'm terrible. But, that's my smile. It's okay. It, it is very thick. It's a lot thicker than I normally do make it. If you do need to fix it, you can always get white, white wipes. This comes off really, really easily. But I'm going to let it go because it does make it look, make the look. So next thing I'm going to do before I go into the eyes is to kind of counterbalance this whole big mouth situation. I take a little bit of the red. And I draw. A little triangle. And then when you're done with that, you stipple it up. Just like that. And you can darken it up. It is a little bit light, but I'm okay with that. And then the other thing, too, is if you have, like, an eyeliner pen uh, or eyeliner pencil or whatever they're called, the, the liquid liners, doing the lips and doing the smile easier that way. I'm really not liking that red on the lips, but we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. it is what it is. You know what I'm going to do actually? So I completely decided against the uh the red altogether. I like the black a lot better. It doesn't look as crappy. Sorry. But the black that's just my normal way I look, but I do make like I said, make those a little bit thinner than normal, so it is a little bit thicker. But that's okay. Next we're going to do is eyes. So you take your black with your other brush and you want to trace out the eyeball. You don't want to go too far out. You don't want to go too far up. Otherwise it will look like you're a skeleton with paint on the eyes. So put paint on the wrong side of that brush. You want to start off as close to the eyelid as you can. Close your eyelid if you want. But essentially that's what you're going to be doing. Just like just like eyeshadow only with grease paint. And it's going to feel heavy on your eyes. But draw out what you're going to do first before you start coloring in. Otherwise you might go too far over. And you'll look like this. So you just want to do that. And then when you're coloring it in, you blend it into the red. Like so. And it does look a little weird. That's fine. Because you're going to then take a fluffy brush and you're going to stipple it. Because that's what gives you that smokiness. It 
and also blends that red and that black pretty well. So there's that, and then you do the other way. You also want to get as close to your waterline as you can, so that you can um, you can make your eye look as black as possible, so you don't have any of the pink showing. You can also take that brush you're using for your eyes, and you can dabble a little bit on your nose. Makes it look a little bit more uh, grungy. I like the word grungy, just like Robin likes the word obsessed. All I'm doing right there is just just dry brushing. Just take your take your wet paint and then you dry brush it off so that it's not much on there and then you just dab it on. Looks a little bit more burnt. And you can leave it just like it is. Or what you can do is you can take the black as well and just put a small line in the center, like so, like so, small, because you don't want to go too, too big on it. And then you take your stippled brush again and you just kind of work that. So I kind of lost a little bit of the red here, but I, it's okay. I, I do kind of like it the way that looks. Look at that grungy black. I just have the sole patch. There, is that. And then you're pretty much done. This is it. This is it. This is it. But what I like to do for my, like I said, with my thick cheeks, is you can use you can just use theater blood. I use demon blood. It's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit darker, and um, it does drip. So you want something to put underneath your face, or just be very careful, but you can see. Just a little dab. Oh, as you can see, I dripped everywhere. does drip a lot so and that's it that's my clown makeup simple easy fun all you got to do is just either if you have a wig you can slap a wig on you can get a costume on which i'm gonna do right now <laughs> these teeth are terrible made of myself Ugh. tempted to make them myself but getting a pair of teeth and a hair makes a big difference in your clown stuff. Also getting little frill frills and suspenders. These are called clacker gloves. You can learn how to make those on uh, YouTube as well. But 
this is it. This is my final, my final uh, look. I'm gonna do the. She does. Anyways, this is this is my clown. My clown's name is Trippy the Clown. Um, because I used to wear trip clothes, but they don't really sell trip clothes anymore. So this is it. So with teeth in as well, it's really hard to uh, to talk. As you just saw, they were falling out of my mouth because I formed them wrong. Is what it is. But you, if you have teeth in, get ones that are professional, or if you can make them your, yourself, you can try. I did try to make them myself. It was I failed miserably. So it's something I have to work at. But uh, you can get fake teeth, or you can get blood in your mouth, or you can get that that stuff that changes the color of your teeth, so you don't look as well. I look like a hipster clown with my Bieber haircut. This was just a. Uh, this was actually a long black and red wig from Walmart for four bucks that I just chopped and then hairsprayed. Um, and it just, it turned out all right. I didn't think it was going to work. It works out pretty well. And this is why I didn't do my ears. So what you want to do also as a clown is if you're going to, you know, scare people and have fun doing that, um, you got to have the voice, the talk. You can't just talk like this because it's not, not fun. You got to have that little bit of talk. You got to do that weird, the weird faces and the, the, the angles, and if you are really good with makeup and you want to put highlights in your creases, or uh, shadows in your creases, it makes a big difference. But you want to have the grunge, you want to have that, that evil look. Just Whenever you take pictures, I'll just... You want to have that, that face, because you're going to be getting a lot of pictures. God. Hair everywhere. Anyways, this is also really hard to, hard to do stuff with. You want to have the laugh. Laughs are hard to do. You can have the gutter, gutter laugh. You can have the, the Joker laugh. Stuff like that. <laughs> and boring stuff. You want to have a laugh that is yours, that is unique. So my my unique laugh, which is just a typical clown laugh. I hope this doesn't get too, too loud. I'll back up a little bit from the camera, but it's going to get loud. <laughs> That's it. It's all out of fun. You will lose your voice after uh, doing it for a while. But for those of you that are um, here because you wanted to see a Halloween tutorial, you're welcome and sorry for the crazy rantics, but this is my wife's YouTube channel. So uh, this is just something I did for fun. Um, for those of you that are subscribers to my wife's channel, welcome. If you're not subscribe to the channel, please do so. Uh, it will greatly uh, help us out. And we will let us know that we're doing really well. Um, at least that she's doing really well. I just do this. She does real makeup. Um, we also are doing a giveaway right now. Um, we just posted that video. Uh, we're doing a ColourPop palette giveaway. Um, the link for that will be in the description below. Follow all the, the rules. It is US only. It's till November 18th is when the last day is going to be and when we're going to draw three winners. Um, the products for that are going to be in that video so go take a look at that and follow all those rules and watch that video fully so if you have stuck through this whole video and you watch this entire thing or you just skip through to see what i looked like um now you're getting that part so other than that guys thank you very much for watching i had a blast um this is probably the best that i've ever done my makeup to be honest with you um yeah cheap dropping everything cheap dollar brand makeup can get you the same exact look as any professional makeup if you really work at it now if you had professional makeup big difference um if you had uh prosthetics big difference but for six bucks plus contacts if you wanted to have those you don't have to have contacts but six bucks for the makeup then you just get a costume together and make stuff i made these gloves myself they're just electrical conduits attached to a pair of gloves so, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Happy Halloween for those of you that celebrate. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.